Hey, what up, guys? It is your boy BQ with the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Hope you guys have a nice day, chill day. I uh, hope you're with loved ones and just hope hope it's a good one for you. So I got a little time on my hands. Got the oven, the chicken in the oven, the chicken. Imagine that Thanksgiving chicken, turkey in the oven. Thought I hit you guys with a discussion question for the day. For those of you who are just kind of chilling, hanging around on YouTube. Who is most likely to become Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion first, in your opinion? Kiera Hogan or Tennille Dashwood? Now, let's start talking Kiera Hogan. With this company, there's a bit of a lack of homegrown stars and homegrown talent. We know that. This has been an issue for a little while. But Kiera Hogan really is that homegrown star with this company. Someone who didn't have a lot of buzz uh, upon signing. Didn't make a real immediate impact, in my opinion, even though, well, I, I should I should pull that back. She did beat Laurel Van Ness, I think it was in her first match, and she was knockouts champion at the time, Laurel. So, yeah, so she, she probably did come in a little hotter than they usually do with new talent. But at the same time, I guess what I'm saying is I didn't really feel that star power initially with her. And she's continually grown and grown and grown. Like, the baby face thing didn't work. They paired her up with, they didn't pair her up, but she was kind of like Ali's BFF for a while, and that just didn't work for me. What works for me is what she's doing now. But the, the key was the heel turn. She was doing the thing with Madison Rain for a while, and she just keeps getting better, keeps getting better. Like her confidence, her in-ring, her demeanor, um, her look. You know, she's someone that they really don't want to lose because this, she, she's definitely like homegrown talent. Like she's up there. Now, I have a concern that she's never going to win the win the big one, win the gold. She hasn't even really had the opportunity. I'm sure she's had one or two of those throwaway knockouts championship matches that they like to throw at you every once in a while, but she really hasn't had that opportunity. Now, very well, she they could win the knockouts tag team championships, you know. But as far as the knockouts championship, the single singular title, the, the singles title, do you think she has a better chance of getting that before Tennille Dashwood? Now, Tennille, on the other hand, Real big signing at the time it happened. Didn't click right away. The matches were not good. The character was not really good. Didn't really seem, seem like she wanted to be there. She got the Bound for Glory Knockouts Championship match very quickly, very forced. And no one was really feeling it. I definitely wasn't feeling it. I was like, pull the plug on this ASAP. And, you know, over the past year or so, I brought it up many times on my channel check tape i brought it up many times i was like why doesn't she have an instagram influencer gimmick instagram model gimmick why isn't she doing that why aren't they connecting her real life with a wrestling persona and that way they could leverage some of these millions of instagram followers and stuff she has so fast forward to present day that's the gimmick she has so I'm really happy about it. I've enjoyed it from the beginning with the quotes and Caleb with a K and everything. Like it's to me the best character in Impact right now. I am enjoying Tenille more than I am anybody else. Um, I'm enjoying Moose quite a bit too, but for me, Tenille and this gimmick with Caleb with a K is magic, it's gold. Their chemistry is amazing. And now she could get away with probably being the Knockouts champion. Now they're kind of, Teasing, uh, teaming her with with uh, Alicia right now, which I'm kind of I'm kind of digging what they're doing there. But they're already out of the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament. Never really a contender to begin with. So put her in this, you know, even if she has Alicia kind of as a sidekick, like she could return to singles competition probably sooner than Kira Hogan. So this is, this is a tough one for me. I feel like Tennille's probably more likely to win the title. But I would probably like to see Kiara win it because I want uh, one of the homegrown towns within the company to be rewarded. Not, okay, we're putting the belt on you because you came from here or or whatever, you know? Someone who just came to Impact years ago. There, I think they may have been TNA at the time still. Or if not, they were just transitioning in Impact. Like she's been around a while. And you don't want to lose her to a company like AEW where Diamante's working right now and doing pretty well. You know, you don't want you don't want to lose her. This tag team she has with Kiara Hogan is, is really one of the best things that the company has going. And I would just love to see what happens if she had gold. You know, even if it's a tag team championship, I would love to see 
how that works out for her. I think she deserves that. But then the Tennille gimmick, like I just think it would be, make a great champion as well. Taking photos with the title, leveraging again these Instagram followers, putting the title on social media. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. And again, I hope you guys have a good one. Remind of yours. And I'm out. Peace.